it is simple to create cut work from an existing design. First, I'm going to select this flower and click on Add Cut Work Border. I'll choose to do a cut around the flower. I can change the offset, and actually the offset can be positive or negative. We'll leave it as positive because we want the flower to be cut around the outside of the border. The default is about a one millimeter positive offset, and we'll leave this at the default. If I change the offset and increase it, I also have the option to change the smoothing. And smoothing will influence how closely the cutwork border follows the design. I'm going to leave this at zero because I want that cutwork line to follow the border of the flower closely. I'll move this back to the original setting and click OK. And you can see that the cutwork line has been added around the flower and there are all the cut lines. Both the next objects have holes in them. So if I draw a bounding box around the first object to select everything and click Add Cutwork Border, I'll also choose a cut line. I'll leave the offset at default, and I'm going to uncheck Include Holes. And I'll click OK. And you can see only the cut line was added around the outside edge. With this next one, I'll select the design, click on Add Cutwork Border, again change it to a cut, but this time leave Include Holes checked. I can select from all the different five types of holes plus a simple cut. I can also choose the offset. I'll click OK, and you can see that there is a cut line around the design as well as the inside border. Any of these objects can also be edited.